Okay, sometimes you take a problem and you're looking at it a certain way and someone comes along and says, I think you're thinking of this all wrong. Yeah. There's a different way to look at this issue. And sometimes it gives you fresh perspective. Is that what we're talking about here, David? I think so, maybe. Uh, here, The sheriff of Bayer County, Texas, is uh, investigating the governor of Florida because the governor put some migrants in San Antonio on a plane and sent them to Martha's Vineyard. Uh, sheriff Javier Salazar showed up on CNN, and uh, he said, you know what, we just need to embrace the chaos of illegal immigration, okay? Okay. All right, let's see if we can make sense of this. Open mind here, Scott. All right. All right. I mean, I think at some point you're going to have to embrace the the fact that this is happening to a certain extent. I would say, look, you've got people that want to work. They want to do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, not for slave wages. Give them an honest day's pay. And you've got a shortage of workers. If you go to any restaurant in San Antonio, Texas right now, you're going to wait a long time to get your table, even though there's empty tables, because there's not enough wait staff to wait on you. They're, you're going to wait a long time for your food because there's not enough people to, to cook it in the back. Half the cooks maybe aren't, aren't showing up to work or they've quit. Hire these folks. See, there you go. See, we, I'm tired of waiting 30 minutes to get a table at Olive Garden. Let's send these guys to work at restaurants, okay? <laughs> I can't believe what I just heard. <laughs> You know how I mean, long I'm, you I'm have really to... having a hard time comprehending that. You, you know how long I have to wait to get my roof replaced? Come on, Jose, let's let freaking go. I have to wash my own car now. <laughs> <laughs> the world needs more bus boys. Hola, Good welcome Lord. to America. <laughs> what was that? Just embrace it, man. We got to have workers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. <laughs> Like, okay, I don't think I've heard that argument since 08. That's a good one, though. That was McCain, I think, running for president. Yeah. Saying, you know, the, the white people and black people won't do these jobs. I'm surprised. I, he, what was it? I, I'm trying to remember. And this was 08. I think he said they wouldn't walk beans for, what was it, $30, $30 an hour? Some ridiculous, yeah. And I remember at the time, I honestly said, if that's happening, sign me up. Yeah, right. I'll walk with you. Yep. You know radio wages. Yep. <laughs> no way, man. I'll In do 08? Yeah. I'll walk those beans. Yep. Holy smokes. I'm surprised this John is McCain only got 17 votes. <laughs> Hard to believe. You know, I, maybe, maybe he's on to something. You know, just at the border, we just, like, sort people based on whether or not they're going to be a dishwasher, a bus yeah. boy, you know, a, a yard guy. You know, I just say, okay, you're you're going to be washing dishes at Golden Corral. You're going to be bussing all the tables at at the Sizzler. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to be, I don't know, uh, a hostess at Olive Garden. Uh, you might be at Applebee's. I mean, just go and just sort people that way.